This is Sanjit Muria. He heads up an operation along with three other directors called Supremo Innovations Private Limited. This organisation specialises in commissioning pop-ups to be visible in the UK. The pop-ups are designed to freeze or lock a browser to force the victim to call the number displayed on the pop-up. If the victim calls one of Supremo's numbers, the person on the end of the phone will lie to them in order to get their money. This video exposes this organisation in great detail. Critical alert from Michael The address which Supremo gave on their website is 776 Barking Road, London E13. However, this is a fake address. A quick look on Google Earth and Street View shows this address to be one which is to let. There isn't any presence here of this organisation other than a PO box. That's because their real location is here in New Delhi. Their address is on screen now. So how does their business work? Well, it starts with adverts in a Skype group for what's called tech support calls. And what you can see at the bottom here is an advert from a guy called Sahil from Solve Ninjas Media Group who's offering to sell some phone calls. And the reason that he can sell these phone calls is that this guy creates the pop-ups and sells them to tech support scammers. He sells them at $16 per call and he says that there's a guaranteed return on these calls of $70 to $100 per call and he's probably not wrong. What you're looking at here is a live view of Supremo Innovations calls. You can see that there are eight agents currently logged in and they're seeing calls from people who are calling this number. It appears on the pop-up and this is more clear evidence that Supremo Innovation agents are fielding calls from people who are calling that number. In addition, here's a chat log from Skype where Sanjit asks Solve Ninjas Media to start and stop one of these campaigns. You can see from Sanjit's Skype contacts that they will use several pop-up vendors and this is to make sure that all of the agents are occupied should one of these campaigns not work. And here is a screenshot showing that TechYogi IT Solutions, who are the parent company of Supremo Innovations, are paying this person, Mayank, to have their phone number on those pop-ups. This is part of a lot of evidence that I've gathered that this organisation are actively involved in scamming thousands of UK people. And I do mean thousands. On the screen, you can see the database of all their customers that they've scammed in 2018. There are over 1,500 names here and the revenues for the year are just shy of a quarter of a million pounds. The revenue for 2017 is over 300,000 pounds and this is pounds, it's not rupees. These are all UK victims. And scammers always work in pairs. There's at least one point in every call where they hand over to a technician and you can see the names of each of the sales agents and technicians in column H and J. Column I are the payment gateways, and like the pop-up vendors, they choose to use several of these should one not work. And this is the bxl.net web pages, which are used by Supremo Innovations to collect payments from their victims. You'll notice that you purchase some sort of web development page and not tech support. And that's because this page is designed to disguise the real MO. You can see some of their clients here, including their own parent organization, Tech Yogi, and PC Supremo, again, one of their own websites. Their clients seem to be themselves. And on the bottom left, you can see that BXL.net is described as a trade name of Supremo Innovations. But if you were unfortunate enough to fall victim to one of these scams, this is how they take the payments. First of all, the agent code has to be selected and each agent gets a commission for the sales that they make. And from their own spreadsheets, these are the incentives they get if the agents make lots of sales. The conversion rate is roughly 100 rupees equals one pound or about $1.20. Each agent has a minimum monthly target, but if they exceed a sale value of 7,000 pounds per month, they get rewarded with 14,000 rupees or about 140 pounds or $200. So this is why agents always push for the higher value sale. They have a good commission. 
and also to safeguard the revenues, they use several payment gateways. I'll mention a lot more about these payment gateways towards the end of this video. So how can they use so many UK phone numbers when they don't have a presence in the UK? Well, it's because they use VoIP services, and amongst several of these, they use the realpbx.com, like a lot of other scammy organisations, eitel.com, thenumberpeople.co.uk, Ring Central, which they use for inbound and outbound calls, Call Hippo, and VoIP Line Telecom, and they regularly change these vendors as and when they're caught on with fraud. So they still had the nerve to demand their money back even though they'd been found out that their VoIP service was being used for fraud. And here's some detail of that fraud. These are the URLs in September which were used by Supremo Innovations to display some of their pop-ups with their phone number on it. Every single day there was at least two pop-ups in use, except for Sundays where they don't work. So who makes all the money for Supremo Innovations? Well, they've got a properly registered UK company and here you can see the company number. And again, this is all publicly available information and you can see that the director of the company is Abjit Kumar Sa. You can see that their address has changed to a couple of other fake addresses in London. They used to reside in 118 Empire House, which I uncovered in an earlier video. And if you do a little search against one of the director's names, up pops all of the organisations which they're involved with, including Tech Yogi IT Solutions, which is the parent company of Supremo Innovations. Here you can see all the names of the directors of both companies. It's Abjit, Sanjit, Jitendra and Rajkumar Sa. Given that the workers work for a salary and a commission, these guys are making all the money. But their figures don't add up, at least not officially. This is the director's report for Tech Yogi IT Solutions and the declared value of their profits seems to be much less than $10,000 per year. The figures you see here are in Indian rupees. And if I look at the UK version of this company, Supremo Innovations, you can see the company accounts there. When you have a look at their accounts for last year until the 30th of June 2017, you can see that they made the princely sum of just £3,000. That's in stark contrast to the revenue that I can see for that year, which was over 300000 So even if the UK police or Indian police haven't got the time or resources to chase up on this sort of fraud, the HMRC, which is the UK tax authority, have been given an anonymous tip-off about the accounts of this company. And as of the 14th of September, I've emailed every one of the 1,510 people who have been ripped off by Supremo Innovations in 2018. If you pause the video, you can have a look at the email that I sent them, and there's also a link to the video that I posted as part of this email below. I recommended that every one of these victims get back to Supremo Innovations and demand a refund. And the results look very promising. After my initial batch, I could tell that Supremo were almost immediately starting to get refund calls. And I was getting quite a number of emails from people who weren't even aware that they were victims of the scam. But it was starting to become obvious that Supremo Innovations were getting overwhelmed with the number of people calling them to demand their money back. And they were beginning to hemorrhage so much money that they started changing tactics and were saying that I was a scammer, a disgruntled employee, and they even started ringing their own customers to warn them not to open an email from Jim Browning because it was a virus. So to ensure that the maximum number of people do get their refunds, I've contacted their payment gateways. These are legitimate companies who are probably unaware of Supremo Innovations fraud. I've also contacted each of their VoIP providers and pointed them to this video as well, together with their account information. The company also misrepresent themselves as supporting Norton Antivirus and McAfee. Chances are if you type Norton Support Center into Google, you might hit on one of Supremo Innovation's two numbers. You can see them both here. As of September 2018, this particular number routes to Supremo Innovations. They used to claim to be partners of Microsoft 
and this is what their website used to say until I wrote to Partner Point, who promptly removed them. But that doesn't stop them claiming still to be partners. Thank you for contacting Technical Support. You are talking to Big Cash. Tell me how can I help you? You rang me yesterday and took a yes. load of money off me to saying that you were a, a, a partner, technical partner to uh, Microsoft. Yes. And um, I've just rang them and they say they don't know you. Who, who, ma'am, what's your name, ma'am? My name is Chris. Yeah, Christine, if you remember that, uh, yes, uh, are you in front of your computer? I can show you who I am and we are a Microsoft partner or not. Can well, you go yes, in front of your computer? Yes, and I've just rang Microsoft. Ma'am, how can you say that you rang a Microsoft? Because maybe I just, that, that person... I that maybe that person... I just rang them because I no, wanted to maybe. check that you were a partner and they said they've never heard of you. Ma'am, that's why I'm saying if you go in front of your computer, I can show you we are a Microsoft certified professional or not. All of a sudden, he's not a Microsoft partner. He's a Microsoft certified professional. Very slippery. But perhaps I'm getting them all wrong. Maybe we should listen in to a few of their phone calls to see whether they're really generated as a result of these fake virus pop-ups. Listen carefully to the background in each of these calls. Hello, I've been told that my um, laptop has been hacked and to ring this number immediately. Uh, somebody could ring me back, please. Oh, one. Thank you. And here's another example. Yeah, I received a call from your side. Yes, I'm having the same problem I co you corrected yesterday. My name is Mrs. Marshall, and um, I had a problem yesterday. You're supposed to have um, corrected error 268D3. And it's the same problem telling me that my computer is, will be disabled to prevent further damage because it's being um, hacked at the moment. But it's not a surprise that these adverts keep reappearing. As soon as they're detected as deceptive, they have to move on. They have to order a new pop-up on a new website and that's where the likes of Sahil and Mayank come in. The next bit of footage shows Sanjit using his own PC to check the status of some of the adverts that he commissioned earlier in the day. Some are already blocked and won't generate calls to Supremo Innovations. On this yellow post-it note, Sanjit keeps a note of how the various campaigns are going. Mayank's calls have generated £800 of revenue and Sahil's calls nearly 2000 It looks like Sahil's claims for the return on investment look pretty spot on. But I'll leave the last words on this video to one potential victim who was able to see through their pop-up scam. Thank you for calling support. My name is Mike. How can I help you? Hi, uh, for some reason um, you've shut down my computer. Um, I'm aware it's a scam um, and I have involved the police. Um, so if you can get hold of my computer and tell it that it's not going to be scammed anymore, that'd be lovely. Okay? okay. Ma'am, we are not scammers, okay? We, we support the Windows customers, okay? If they call us and they pro we provide support to them, okay? Right. So why, why is it you, you scan my computer? Who, who are you exactly? Ma'am, I'm the, I'm the technician from Supremo Innovations. I'm a Microsoft certified technician to solve the Windows, for support the Windows customers. Right. So and where you, is it I'm calling? 
Sorry. Where, where is uh, whereabouts in the world am I calling? Ma'am, actually, you're, actually, I am from the Indian office, actually, and but I of, our office is a base assembly. It's in UK, but you are talking to Indian person. Right, and you so, you're based in the UK. Yes, our office is based in UK, okay, and now, yeah, but uh, I'm talking from India right now, okay? Right, okay. Well, I mean, if you're based in the UK, that would be a lot easier place to track you down. Okay, so what kind of problem are you getting, ma'am? Is this call being recorded? Ma'am, the call can be recorded for the quality purpose, not more than that, okay? Okay, well, I hope it is being recorded. That would be really helpful. I'm past that one to okay. the oh, I'll give them this number. Okay. Because I pointed the victims of this scam to this video, I'm hoping that they will be able to get their money refunded, and the reporting of their activities to the various payment gateways and VoIP providers should have an effect on their business. Let's see. If you're interested in combating scams, take a look at the information under scammer.info. There's a lot of useful tips and resources there, including a lot of active scamming pop-ups. You don't have to be the least bit technical. All that really needs to be done is to waste the person on the end of that phone line's time. If you would like to support me and what I do personally, I have a Patreon channel. There's a link below and shown here. And I would really appreciate anything that you can do to help me create these videos. You can also catch me on Twitter at Jim Browning 11 and once again thanks for watching. <laughs>